Hey guys, welcome to Restobin. My name is Kushal and in this video we are going to see how to set up fail to ban program. It's a program that helps to block and ban the WordPress login attacks from all the malicious attacks and even from the brute force. So I already written an article which details whatever we are covering in this video. So things that we are going to cover here are how to install fail to ban on Ubuntu as well as the WordPress plugin, how to set up the filters in jail, and finally how to customize the jail as well as unban an IP address which has been blocked. So let's dive in. Fail to ban is not pre-installed in Ubuntu cloud server. So what we need to do is first we need to install the fail to ban program. So we can run these two commands. First is to update the APT repository and the second command is to install fail to ban program. So I already have my SSH login and let me copy this first command, paste, enter. So this will update my APT repository and meanwhile I will copy the second command and paste. Let me allow to add the additional space. So I have installed the fail to ban program in my Ubuntu cloud server via SSH. Now what we I need to do is I also need to install this WP fail to ban plugin on my WordPress installation. Let me open my demo site demo.restorebin.com and uh, access the dashboard and uh, here under plugins you can just click on this add new we drag a bit and search for WP fail to ban we'll probably have this first plugin just install and activate so a plugin has installed so all the settings here are invisible because we are using the free version for making the settings through this UI we need to have a premium version but uh, the free version almost work as similar as the paid version so let's move on to the article and we have installed our WordPress plugin now so here are the steps which I have taken now let's set up the filter and the jail so there are two components in the fail to ban one is the filter and second is the jail so filter is nothing but what are the conditions that to be matched in order to fail to ban plugin work so let's copy this command this will copy the wordpress hard configuration file from wordpress repository to our filter directory next we need to create a jail for wordpress so let's copy this paste enter this is a new file that we created what we need to do is we need to add this conditions here so what this condition means jail name is wordpress enable it filter is wordpress the filter that we created earlier the log path which is nothing but the authentication login part is var log or dot log and port for which this jail to be supported that is http and https so let's close this one so we have set up the filter that is we copied the filter we have set up the jail and now let's customize the jail in order to set what should be the maximum limit of attempts and how much how long the an ip address should be banned so open the jail.config file in your ssh so when you scroll down you need to find three things in here i'm going to change only three things one is the max retry which is the number of times a person or a ip address is allowed to enter incorrect login info second is the find time which is nothing but the maximum time span in which the person can attempt bad logins uh, that is uh, i have set to three hours and the third is the ban time if a person has exceeded the max try limit which is three then the person should be banned and the, I mean the IP address should be banned so all this will be found under default so if I let's scroll down so ban time is currently 10 minutes so I would be changing it to 12 hours find time is uh, 10 minutes again so I would be changing it to 3 hours and max try is set to 5 and I would changing it to 3 so rest everything just leave it as it is i wouldn't suggest you to edit any other changes except if you know what you are doing else just close this file we are done with this so let me close this nano editor so once this is done all we need to do is restart so a fail to ban server has restarted so 
let's just try to get our IP address ban so open this one demo.restoben wp admin my username is restoben and password let me enter anything one two three four five login this is the first attempt let me do some other username admin and then some password one two three four five six seven login second attempt and the third attempt after this third attempt uh, my website won't be responsive i mean i won't be able to allow even to access demo.restoben site so let me do that so admin is demo and some password and just enter login so if i try to do anything now it will not allow me to access so i have attempted the maximum limit that is four times which is over three and it's not even allowing me to load my website so if i go and retype demo.restoben so you can see it will be keep on loading loading unless i unban the ip address so ban time is like 12 hours so let me log in into my ssh and show if i scroll a bit so here you can see fail to ban log just open that one so in this file you can see this WordPress that is our jail name WordPress has banned this IP address so this is my current IP address so it's also showing like I have attempted three login attempts these three are the login attempts and this is the final attempt under which I was banned so let me copy this one I don't need this in order to unban what you need to do is uh, you need to run this command so the command will be fail to ban client set wordpress the jail name unban ip address and then the ip address whatever you want just hit on enter so this will unban the ip address now if i again try to access yes so demo.restobin is loading so in this way you can even unban or ban a certain IP address say suppose if I want to ban this IP address I will just remove this ban IP address and it would be banned so again if I re refresh it it won't allow me to load the website as simple as that let me again unban it so this is how you can uh, set up the fail to ban for uh, protecting securing your wordpress login attacks it will help in fighting with the brute force attack where the number of random ip address come and attack on your login dashboard try to use different patterns usernames fail to ban is a good plugin as well as a program everyone should be using to secure their wordpress site I hope this helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you. Cheers.